it's supper time once again here at Boots and Bounty Homestead in Casey's Kitchen or McMama's as sometimes they call it. <laughs> but we've got to start getting some recipes using our sweet potatoes. If you remember, you can go back and watch the video where we dug up the sweet potatoes and we are storing them in our root cellar, which is under the house where it's nice, cool. The temperature is pretty much constant all the time stays cool from the dirt but yet warm enough not to freeze and we've got to go get some sweet potatoes because I'm going to show you an easy recipe that you can do um, pretty much any night of the week if you do a little planning ahead um, and know that you're going to do it so you can get started right away um, and I'll give you a couple of different ways to do it as well but first we got to go get some sweet potatoes so let's go I found my helper let's go get some taters I served them their eviction notice. Uh oh, it's starting to sprinkle. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wow, I got it open. Pick it up. I'll pick it straight up. There you go. Oh my gosh, that was hidden. You can pop it up against the house. How many? Oh, it's wet. Oh, yeah, be careful. It's kind of muddy down there. We've had a lot of rain. Um, I need three. You're probably not going to eat one, are you? Uh -uh. Okay, I need three. You know, uh, three like single serve, not three ginormous ones. I know that'll be okay. hard to find, but. No, I already see one. I need some short and fat ones like me. Okay. Got one. Okay. They look good? Yeah. Okay. So far, for more, I can see. Two right. and three. That's all. Yeah, that'd be fun. That's it. Thank you. Uh -huh. right, we've got our sweet potatoes. Found Daddy. Hey. He heard there was food. No, I heard noise. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a little micey's under the under the house. All right, let's go inside and get these cooking. So to start out, we are going to wash our sweet potatoes off. I want some cold water. I have a little nail brush here. You know, that you nailed with it. I just use it to scrub my vegetables with. Yeah. So for this recipe, we need an Instapot, and we also need the rack that goes in the bottom. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut this little scale off right here, little scab. And I'm gonna lay these in here best I can. There we go. And we need a cup of water to pour in here in the bottom and then check your seal make sure your seal is good on your instapot all the way down and then we are going to close it up make sure that you have it on the closed position and we're going to do a manual pressure and I'm going to do 20 minutes. It says 15 for 2 inch. My other one's going off. <laughs> so, 15 minutes for a 2 inch diameter. <laughs> this is live, people. And then uh, 20 to 25 for a 3 inch diameter. So, that's what I'm going with. We're going to go for 20 minutes since these are kind of long and not really short and as fat. Um... So we're going to do 20 minutes on manual, which is high on this one, and we'll be back. So now we're going to get started with our filling. 
as the sweet potatoes are in the Instapot over here. All right, we've got a skillet out, and I've already got it pre-warming. I've got a little bit of um, our rendered pork fat video here, and we've got that melting in the bottom just to give it a little extra coating. So now we're going to brown our ground beef, but since we try to make all of our own food, we are using Emma's deer. So we grew the sweet potatoes and Emma killed the deer. So, so far, this meal hasn't cost very much. Just time. When you're cooking meat in a cast iron skillet, the secret to it being non-stick, other than the seasoning and making sure um, that your seasoning is good on it, is one, the grease or the oil in the bottom is hot, along with your skillet, is hot before you put the meat in it. Number two, don't mess with it a whole lot. Just come in here, and if you need to, come in here and just kind of flip it over or whatever. But don't sit here and constantly stir and stir and stir because you're scraping the non-stick coating off of it every single time you're going around and around and around. You're just getting it down to the bare cast iron while it's hot. So the longer you just let it sit there without it being disturbed or messed with or anything the more non-stick it's going to be. So you're going to let it just sit and cook. And um, as you see that it's starting to brown up, then you can start stirring it and kind of flipping it over, breaking it up a little bit. And once you mix it, just let it sit for a few more minutes and then come back. Don't, don't stand there and just constantly stir over it because then your meat's going to start sticking. And one other tidbit about cast iron. I'll put some links in the description below to a couple of people that do a really good job on showing how to care for cast iron. But you don't want to cook it in anything over medium, medium high. Um, you know, whenever you're trying to brown something like this because it gets hot and it's not easily cooled off. So you can hear the Instapot in the background. And it's uh, heating up. I'm starting to smell the sweet potatoes. Our countdown has begun. Look, if you don't have an Instapot, you can do this in the oven. It just takes a little bit of more time. You can do it in the oven. And what you'll do is you'll wash your potatoes off. Put a little bit of olive oil if you want to on the outside, a little bit of salt and pepper. Wrap it up in aluminum foil to make sure that all the, the seams are closed off so that way none of the steam escapes. Set your oven on 400 and then lay them on the rack. You don't have to put them on anything unless you're just scared they're going to leak out. Um, but put them on the rack in the oven and you'll do this for up to an hour, 55, uh, about 50, 55, 60 minutes depending on the size of them. Now to check them, you'll have to unroll the foil a little bit and in the thickest part, try to poke a fork in it. Or you can, you can take like a, um, you can take a pot holder and squeeze it to see if it's soft. And then you'll know if, um, you'll know if they're done, if they're soft. So just in case, don't fret. You can still do this recipe if you don't have an Instapot. And heck, if you don't even have an oven, you can do it on a fire. So. There you go. Just takes a little bit of preparation if you're going to do this recipe. Thanks. I do believe our meat is done. And you'll see in the bottom there's a little bit of water. Depending on um, how
how how much liquid you have in the bottom you may want to add a little bit but for this we are going to add some of our homemade taco seasoning that Emma made up for us and we are going to make some taco meat I think she's going to have to make some more Okay, I ad-libbed it. She can make some more later. So we're going to stir this up. Get it mixed in real good. And at this point, if you're cooking in a cast iron skillet, go ahead and turn it off. Because, you know, it will sit there and continue to cook for a few minutes. And this don't need to cook but for about five minutes. Just enough to thicken up, you know, like it says on the taco seasoning package. All right, we get this all good mixed up. And we've got 10 minutes left on our sweet potatoes. And we will check them shortly. So stay tuned for the rest of it. They are done. I'm going to show you what I do to release the pressure. Okay, so what I do, this one back here, this um, vent back here, yours may look like this or it may be just a little bit different. Uh, different models uh, look kind of different. I like to lay a towel over it because it spews out the water. And then I'm going to bunch the towel up right here in front of it and I've got it laying diagonally across it you see my handle here i've got it laying diagonally across it okay. and what i'm doing is the towel is pushed up against the vent and then i'm just going to pull it to the side just a hair okay and i'm gonna make the towel kind of hold it where i want it so just adjust it a little bit so that way you still get the steam coming up. You can still see it. You still get the steam coming up, but you don't get the water splattering everywhere. And you, you don't have to open it wide open. You can do it just a little bit, and this helps you control it without touching it and burning yourself, okay? So we'll let this vent until all the pressure is gone, and then we will come back and see what's inside. The Instapot is done. All the steam is out. Let's open her up. Oh. You see our pretty sweet potatoes in there. Mmm, they smell heavenly. Alright, let's put it all together. Alright, I'm going to get them out and put them on plates. Ooh, they soft. Definitely done. I'll let these cool off for just a few minutes. These are cool enough to handle now, so I'm going to go ahead and cut them open. Ooh, very, very soft. If you've got them, got potatoes about this big, you probably want to do them about 15 minutes, not 20. All right. Here we are. Okay. Turn it 
turn this one over since the top of it is already cut a little bit down the end. And you may like it this mushy. Some people, you know, may want a little more firm. And now for the toppings. And this is why I just made the taco meat here by itself. Um, because Logan's not going to eat this. <laughs> he don't eat sweet potatoes. So he's going to fix himself a little taco or burrito or something like that. And then we're going to eat this. And you can, like I said, top it any way you want to. We're going to take our taco meat. And put it on top. You can use as much or as little, you know, meat. Just fix it however you want it. And the seasonings in there, also, this can go for any kind of diet. Um, the seasonings we made ourselves, we grow about half of them. Um, so, anyways, you can fix this any way you want. We've got some shredded cheese we can put on top. <clears throat> Sorry. We're going to make it like a, a taco baked potato. We'll put cheese on top of it. And if you want to, a little sour cream or yogurt, anything you want like that, salt and pepper, whatever you want. All right, guys, here's you a delicious supper that can be individualized or you can make it for the whole family. Sweet potato loaded taco boats. Um, cheesy, taco-y, yummy, goodness. But... I'm getting photo bombed here or video bombed mm -hmm. this little one's not gonna eat it but uh, the sweet potatoes are super good for you in all forms and fashions um, so if you have plenty of them now's the time to be eating them because we will be uh, planting them again pretty soon the years just keep rolling around um, so this is a pretty much almost free meal it didn't cost us but just a few cents Emma killed the deer we made our own seasonings and we grew our own sweet potatoes. So we just bought the cheese and the toppings and stuff to go on there. And uh, so. <laughs> Anywho. Go on and enjoy this recipe for us guys. And we will see you on the next one. Bye.